Hi there, Clive here again with another review. Those who may have seen my previous review on the Google Home Mini, well, it has a friend, courtesy of my very kind sister, uh, who bought me this as a birthday present, uh, brought me the full-on Google Home. So now I can compare it with the Google Home Mini. My plan was is to have uh, a number of Google Home uh, Minis around the house. Um, now I can have this in the living room and the Google Home Mini that I previously bought, I could put in the bedroom. And I've got one upstairs, one downstairs, the house is all connected. And the beauty is that uh, they can work out, they, uh, the Google Home uh, systems can work out, assistants can work out which one you're talking to. So which one you're closest to uh, or can hear you most clearly and that one will respond to you. Um, so that's very good. And then of course you can give them different labels. So you can say, this is living room speaker. Play my Google Music through living room uh, through living room speaker, please. Or play my living room music on the bedroom speaker. Or uh, as I've currently got my Google Home Mini is set up with my sound system, I can play it through the the sound system as well if I want it. So lots of lots of stuff. I've been living with the Google Home Mini now for a number of weeks, and I absolutely love it. And uh, you should check out my Instagram account. If uh, I'll leave a link down below. Check out my Instagram account, which is Lord Kenzel. Um, on my birthday, uh, I said my normal uh, "Hey Google, good morning," and it um, said, "Good morning. How can I help?" Can hear me. <laughs> I should speak more quietly because it's always on. It can hear me, and that's round the corner there. And it heard me. Could you? Did you hear that? Anyway, so I said. Okay, Google. Uh, good morning uh, this morning. And it said, uh, hey, it's your birthday. And it sang me happy birthday. You should check out the Instagram uh, video I uploaded. Uh, quite amusing. Anyway, let's get on with the boxing. Uh, enough jowl walking from me. Let's get along on with the boxing uh, from the Google Home. And it'll be interesting to see, because a lot of people moan about the Google Home Mini, is that the speaker uh, is not that good. Um, and I think if you're a bit of an audiophile or into music, then it, you know, it's not brilliant. But I mean, it's fine for listening to the radio and things like that. I think if you're really into music, then no, you know, it's not. I have my Google Home Mini on a, a large wooden cabinet, so it kind of gives it a bit of extra bass. But what will be interesting to see um, what the sound quality on this one is, is like. Um, and also to see how they interact together as well. So that'd be quite interesting. So anyway, without further ado, Let's get on with the unboxing and see what we get in here. Uh, make sure, please subscribe, like to this video, uh, much appreciated. Check out my other videos as well. Uh, any comments, things you'd like me to check out, that'd be great, uh, much appreciate. It, so let's take off these sticky labels. Stick them there. Right, so it comes in a nice uh, straightforward box. Um, as will Google. I do love their kind of nice simple white designs. Oh, bash the mic, sorry about that. Oh, nice little lift up lid, lift it up there. And here is the Google Home, as you can see. And you can um, opt out the different, you can get different bases for it and stuff to give it um, a different look and feel. I mean, as people say, it looks a bit like a glorified air freshener of some sort. There's a little Google G on there, I'm not sure you can see that. Um, and the little speakers on top, little microphones on top. So that's all good. And then in here you get, um, I'm not sure what that is. Um, and then like the Google Home Mini, you get a quick, you know, it's not, it's not difficult, quick get started um, thing, which, uh, which are on these cards, get started cards, which I say, um, just like the Google Home Mini, um, very easy, plug it in, download the app, connect it, Bob's your uncle. So I've got mine, uh, I've had the Google Home Mini for a number of weeks now, I'm really loving it. The kids got it straight away, as soon as they came in they saw it, they were like, okay Google, so, so I'm speaking quietly because she can hear me. She, I mean Google. I okay Google, stop. The second one is living like a South Bank house. Didn't hear me now. Road in London. Okay, Google, stop. I'll try to talk quietly. I'm not switching it off because I like having it on all the time. 
Um, anyway, I'm using. Let's just go show how powerful the microphone is on the Google Mini, because as I say, it's just around the other side of the wall there. So it serves my whole uh, living room area uh, here, which is sort of behind me. Um, so this will work really well. Um, you get the plug, it's a bit of a bigger plug than the um, the Google Home Mini, but I guess because it's powering uh, a bit of a little subwoofer speaker there, it's a high excursion speaker, um, so it gives a rich bass, that's the idea. Um, and also I noticed it's not like a USB one like the Google Home Mini, it's a sort of built-in lead with a, a little mini jack there so it's not like a USB, a mini USB connection or lead. Anyway so that's that's the unit, it's very straightforward so without further ado let's let's plug it in and, and see what happens. So here's the, the Google Home, the main one. Uh, I've unplugged my Google Home Mini here which is this one here and that's gonna I'm gonna uh, relabel this um, on the Google Home app uh, as the bedroom one and its location in the bedroom so I'm gonna put that in the bedroom. So that's unplugged now and we're gonna plug this one in um, and I've got my phone here with the app already though of course already set up so the idea is I should have put my glasses on that was a mistake there we go plug it in so I plugged it in and then you can see the lights on the top reacting get the app ready Got the Google Home app ready. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. I've done that. It sounds much more rich, uh, the quality. Straight away you can hear the quality in it. It's not quite as tinny as the, the Google Home Mini, so straight away I can see that. Um, so I've downloaded that, let's press plus, add device, I'm going to add device, there we are, so it's working there, I don't have to do anything actually, it's looking for it, there we are. New device, uh, new device found, you can see there. So the Google Home, that is ready for setup, so just click it. Would you like to set up this device now? Yes. So there may be a bit of disconnection from the Wi-Fi. We know that there's just the, so there's exactly the same process in my previous video. Um, I'll just give you a look at the whole. There we are. Google. Oh, there we are. You can see. Bing. Did you have? Yes, I heard that sound. Now my rooms. We're going to put in living room for now. Next. Connect. So it's found my Wi-Fi. It's automatically connecting. Doing its business there. Spinning around. See the phone doing its business. Working it out. Right, it's powered. So it's got the Google, yep, 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 yep. Google partners, list of Google partners, privacy setting, guests and your assistants. Um, okay, fine, we're gonna go straight to next. I mean, the, the setup is really straightforward. So the assistant will use your voice, so now uh, it wants a similar voice. So it wants to recognize my voice. We can personalize, so my kids, can also download the Google Home and personalize it to their voice. So anybody can speak to it and ask it questions, but if you want to personalize it to your account, it needs to recognize specifically your voice. So um, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna teach it my voice. Okay, Google. Oh, trouble with my microphone. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. What's my name? Your name is Clive. 
Seems to be set up. Okay, Google, it's punk time. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help, but my team's helping me learn. Okay, Google, play some punk. Sure, playing your Google Play music playlist called Punk on Living Room Speaker. Right, well, that seems to work. It should have been a much smoother setup than than that, but I think it was confused because I had two uh, devices labelled living room speaker. Uh, I think that was the main problem. But it seems to recognise my voice now. Um, hey, Google, good morning. Hi, Clive. The time is 8.32pm. It's your birthday today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday from Google, happy birthday to you. Now, back to your update. Okay, Google, stop. Currently. Okay, so let's test out the sound then. Um, okay, Google. Play some punk. Okay, your Google Play music playlist called Punk. Here you go. Oh yeah. That's a nice bassy sound. I wonder if it's down the other side of the room. Yeah. That was noticeably different. Hey Google, stop. Google, stop. Okay, I have to shout a little bit over the music, but not too much. That will quite work. Um, hey Google, play some Iggy Azalea, Black Widow. Okay, Black Widow by Iggy Azalea. Playing on Google Play Music. One thing I did uh, forget to mention is, of course, the, the volume, uh, which is on the top. And you can see, you can lower the volume. And I had it, I think it was on about three quarters of the volume. So if we go, um, hey Google, play Iggy Azalea's Black Widow. All right, Black Widow by Iggy Azalea. Here it is on Google Play Music. Now we've got it up a bit louder, but here, look. slightly trebly, it's a bit, bit tinny on it, it's loudest, but that may be because um, of the surface that it's on, but it's still a very rich, uh, rich sound and very, very different from uh, the Google Home Mini. So if you want a, a good sort of mini sound system that works well, uh, then this is the device. If you're not that nonplussed about the sound or you can rig it up to your sound system which you can with the Google with these devices you use Chromecast and easily cast it to your sound system and you've got a Google Home Mini then that that's going to work for you as well anyway I thought I'd just drop this bit in in the middle of it sorry it's a bit dark but it's night time here and I've got the lights on low um, but I just wanted to give you a sense of the the sound quality and richness not that you're necessarily going to pick it up on this mic but um, there you go Hey Google, do I need a brolly tomorrow? No, rain is not expected tomorrow in Kintbury. The forecast is 14 degrees and partly cloudy. So you see, it's the context. I didn't say an umbrella specifically. I just said brolly and, and uh, it recognised it. 
So uh, there you go. Um, apart from the, the hiccup setting up a device next to an existing device, um, it went reasonably smoothly. And the sound quality, as I say, is much better than the, um, the Google Home Mini. It's much richer um, sound. So I'm very happy with that. I'm going to set up the Google Home Mini now, reset it up uh, upstairs to make sure that works. And then we can uh, see how they interact and which ones respond if I'm sort of halfway between the rooms. But um, very pleased with this. The sound is great. It looks great. Um, check out my other video on the Google Home Minis. The setup is exactly the same. Uh, just, I think the tip is if you get two, make sure that you, you know, label them very differently or if they're in different rooms. I think the problem was I'd have these both labelled the same effectively and in the same room like uh, uh, because I hadn't reset the Google Home Mini uh, or replaced it in the bedroom where I'm going to do it now. But anyway, apart from that, um, a bit of a car crash some of this review, but generally um, very happy with the Google Home Mini, very happy with the Google Home. Sound quality uh, much richer. Obviously it's not as sound as, the, as my main sound system with a big subwoofer, but it's got a nice 360 degree sound, it's rich and bassy um, for quite a small device, so very happy with that. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, comment below, really appreciate it. If you love this video, share it about, you know the, the jazz. Cheers, thank you.